Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for having me as a part of the keynote lineup this year's ApogeeCon at Home 2021. I'm very excited to be here to talk to you about the open source community, the utopia for programmers. A quick self-introduction. My name is William Jiang. I'm currently a technical expert of Huawei Open Source Center. Before joining Huawei, I was a principal software engineer of Red Hat. I'm also a member of Apache Software Foundation and a mentor of ASF Incubator. Last year, I started Apache Local Community Beijing. Before we start, let's watch a short video clip. Dear programmers, aren't you tired of working on others' comments? Have you ever encountered the thought that your job is undesirable, but you must do it? Have you ever felt not receiving adequate credit for the works you've done? If you are suffering from real life struggles. Welcome to the open source community, the utopia for excellent programmers just like you. Programming should be creative and meaningful, and we all deserve to perform coding in a friendly, welcoming environment. What is open source community? Open source community includes a bunch of people who share common interests in building software. It allows us to work together, to communicate, to bring in new people, and ultimately, build software together in an open, transparent, and collaborative way. The firm could build software in a short period of time because of the massive resources they are able to provide. On the other hand, a good community considers the needs of more users than target customers. It offers a more sustainable way for us to build the software and to polish it over and over again in the long run. In open source community, people are more engaged, willing to share, and excited to help others. Working with the open source community could be more beneficial than you could expect. I want to share a few personal experiences with you guys. 15 years ago, I had a little tree chat with the Dan Deep House the founder of XFile, co-founder of 6F in Beijing. I was surprised to know that he wasn't majoring in computer science back in college. Instead, chemistry. He wrote XFile independently and got himself a consultation position in Iona. And guess what? By the time he achieved all this, he was only 25. Impressed, right? How did he do it? The answer I received was that he wrote an open source project in the bar and got some help from the community. In fact, he received tons of feedback. I was introduced to the open source community, but didn't quite understand the power of it back then. Based on my previous firm work experiences, the majority of the time, I don't get to choose which project I'm interested in. I was assigned to a module of implementation by following the software requirement specification. The manager didn't even bother to check my code. I was working completely by myself. I don't need to worry whether the code is clean enough for others to read. All I need is to meet the deadline and deliver the features. I won't receive any feedback until the code goes into the production a month later. In the worst case, the code broke down. I would have to get up in the middle of the night. On the contrary, open source projects break the silo. Senior developers actually care about the code I commit and always give feedback. As soon as they finish the reviewing, so I can keep up building my understanding of the project and improve my coding skills. We have the automatic unit test and running a continuous integration 
when we commit the code to make sure we won't panic on the release day. Another thing about working in an old convention company is that commands are usually be sent directly through a hierarchy system. The decision is made by head, people who have close relationship with them are more likely to be seen and receive credits. However, in open source community, people are more self-organized. They are self-motivated to do things they prefer to do. There is no manager but technique leader in the open source community. Here, everyone is considered to be equal and free to express their thoughts. Everyone can contribute their ideas by participating in a discussion in the mailing list. Not a single person has the right to make a decision solely in ASF. We build consensus in the community, so people from different companies can work together. No one is going to judge your back personal background. There is no interview in your educational level, work experience, questions related to your nationality or ethnic. It's all about what you have done within the community. If you work benefit the community, the community will recognize your efforts. Here, programmers are able to concentrate to um, polishing the codes instead of trimming up others recognition for recognition. According to how ASF works, once you earn the merit, be part of the development team, you will be granted direct access to the code repository, further growing the group, increasing its ability to develop and maintain the software more effectively. We call this basic principle meritocracy, government by merit. In the open source community, people are so excited to help others. If you ever encounter any questions with open source software, the mailing list is the tunnel for you to get help and communicate with developers directly. From asking to answering the questions, I was empowered by participating in discussion. My experience within the open source community really proves what Dan has said. Open source community is truly a good place for the programmers to grow. We do the troubleshooting with the users all over the place by running a wild design test kit we develop together. We get brilliant ideas for solutions, patches from contributors all the time. Some users even tweet about me, helping them to solve the problem. It brightens up my day every single time. You see? Open source community is a cutter place for developers to improve technical skills. The functionality of open source software is being polished continuously with the help of a group of people who are always ready to share their thoughts and solve the problem together. Some younger programmers might find it difficult to decide which technical direction to go. Apparently, no one wants to waste this much time on try out whether something is suitable and further decide their career path. Well, great programmers from open source community can walk you through this process, giving you their expert thoughts and advice unconditionally. Sometimes, experienced programs sharing could embrace others' enthusiasm. I was pleased to have a chance to work with Jim Stretch an extraordinary programmer. Whenever he talked about the new text, you can see the sparkles in his eyes. His passions truly inspired me, from Guru to Scala, from DSL to Apache Camel EIP, from DevOps to Jenkins X. With his fabulous technical insight, he always passionately introduced us to the cutting edge technologies. I can still recall the way he described the Kubernetes vividly when we have a team meeting in Dublin, 2013. 
the open source community let me work with this talented program closely. James gave me tons of comments and feedback during our long discussion through the mailing list. He really widened my vision and led me to pursue the latest technology. Besides, it's quite easy to pass the entry barriers. When you are working on open source projects, you can easily find basic information about projects from the website. Other detailed information like bug fix, future discussion, can be found from Jira or GitHub issues. Also, there's a bunch of quick start to help the newbies. It's not difficult to make a small innovation based on this shared information. People are so collaborative. They are always willing to share their experience by answering the questions. You can get feedback very quickly here. I usually receive the email just a couple of days after I commit a new feature so that we can always keep up with the latest feedback simultaneously. You can always count on the infrastructure to work with project teams without actually sitting with them in the same room. Ask your questions or send proposals to the mailing list and you will get feedback from people who are also interested in this topic. Doesn't matter if you know them or not. Last but not least, I would like to share create golden rule with you guys. Treat others as you would like to be treated. Be humble, be honest, be willing to accept the responsibility and criticism without becoming defensive. Recognize others are different with skills that are different from yours. And together, we can do great things. You see, when people feel they are crucial and valuable parts of group bigger than themselves, they are more collaborative, innovative, and encouraged to go for extra miles. Therefore, I would like to call open source community as programmers utopia. Thank you again for having me at ApogeeCon at home this year. If you have any question and want to interact with me, here is my Twitter and LinkedIn. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you and hope you all have a wonderful time at the conference. Thank you.